With barely any code change, you can accelerate your Pandas code speed using NVIDIA GPU. And in this video, I'm going to take you through a Google Colab notebook where it is ridiculously easy to make the same operation. We're going to compare few options and then see how you can speed up your Pandas code if you're on Google Colab approximately until like 50x time speed. All these things are happening because of something called rapid S QDF, QDF. So that's how they call it QDF. So this is a framework or a library that works in tandem with pandas and this according to NVIDIA can accelerate the speed 150 times. I'm not sure if it, you can do it 150 times but you can actually accelerate it quite fast. And all you have to do is very minimal change to your code if you have got NVIDIA GPU and this can obviously increase your speed. The performance of every workflow that you have got in pandas. If you are completely new to pandas, pandas is the data analytics library or a data frameish library that is heavily used anywhere python based data analytics or data science workflows are present. A lot of these jobs are running for hours using pandas data frame and this simple change in the nvidia gpu can bring really good speed. I'm going to go to my Google Colab notebook. First of all, I'm going to show you the speed up that I've got. Then I'm going to show you a live demo of how to do the same thing. I've got a very simple pandas code where we are going to generate 1 million rows with 10 columns. And then we're going to do certain computations like sum, mean, standard deviation, minimum and maximum. And then we're going to sort it by the summed value and then we're going to drop certain columns just to make sure that you know we are doing certain operations. This is not purely a representation of how a typical data science workflow would look like but this is what we have got. So when I ran this code without any GPU graphical processing unit, you can see that this code has taken 15 seconds on the CPU that Google Colab provides. But when I ran the same code with GPU, but without enabling NVIDIA QDF. So without enabling NVIDIA QDF, this code took 17 seconds. In fact, it took a couple of seconds more than what it would have taken on a normal CPU. But when you ran the same code with NVIDIA GPU plus enabling QDF from Rapidus, then this code only took 9 seconds as opposed to what it did before like 15 seconds on a CPU. So how to do it for yourself? Assuming that you have got the Google Colab notebook just like me, all you have to do is first go to runtime and click runtime and then change runtime and enable what you want. In this case, you can enable CPU if you have got T4 GPU enabled which is available in free Google Colab you can enable this but first of all I'm going to just enable CPU and then run this and then show first when I save this you can see that it is going to connect to a new runtime which is CPU after we enable CPU I'm going to run this code this is going to take a couple of seconds because basically Google is provisioning a new virtual machine for you and once it is connected you would see three green colored dots and then a tick mark then all you have to do is go run this code and this code will take 15 seconds. If you don't want to do this operation for 15 seconds and then wait, you can obviously reduce the number of operations. For example, instead of 10, uh, 1 million rows, I can just do like 100,000 rows and then I can run the same thing and you can see how much time it took. It took 1.2 seconds for me to do the same thing. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change my runtime, click runtime, change runtime, select T4 GPU. That means the session is going to close. Whatever we did before is not going to exist. And then you can run the same thing without enabling NVIDIA QDF, without Rapidus QDF. We are going to run the same thing. So as you can see here, it is getting connected. After it connects to a GPU, you can see that the T4 GPU is available. So this is a T4 GPU. It comes with 16 GB of virtual me graphics memory. I'm going to run this thing. I'm going to change this once again to five and then run this code to see how much time it takes. Um, based on my previous experience, it should take about like 1.5 seconds, but it took me 2.4 seconds. Okay, that's almost double. That is strange because GPU is primarily optimized for a you know parallel operation. Typically, Pandas does not support parallel operation, and that's why you see this increase in time even when you have got GPU. And all you have to do is now enable QDF. The way you can enable QDF is load extension. This is like a magic command in Pandas Jupyter Notebook, and then QDF dot Pandas, and enable this. And once you enable this you would start seeing the increase in time up. So I'm going to just convert this into 10 to the power of five. 
run this code it took 0.4 seconds 0.4 seconds is what it took all when you compare it with 1.2 here when you compare it with 2.4 here so all it took is just 0.4 seconds that is almost like what three times faster than the cpu here and you can compare with other aspects as well i'm not saying like 550 times or 150 times it depends upon a lot of operations and what kind of things that you do but ideally this is going to bring up a lot of speed so if you have got a workflow that requires pandas data analysis then i think you should probably see if you can leverage qdf from nvidia if of course, if you have got NVIDIA GPU. Otherwise, if you're on Kaggle, if you're on Google Collab, I think this can massively improve your data science workflow. I hope this tip was helpful. See you in another video. Happy prompting.